There are plenty of parasitic animals, but not all of them have the specific traits that have made them famous. But Samothoa exigua has them, and what a lot of them. Samothoa exigua is quite a popular animal. It is also called the tongue eater. This small crustacean is known for its unique parasitizing on the host's body. The tongue moth does not simply suck on the body of its victim, feeding on his blood or mucus, and does not seek to get inside the intestines of the host to devour a portion of its prey. It does the trickier thing, it climbs into the mouth of the fish and attaches itself to its tongue. Using its sharp claws, it pierces the soft organ and sucks all the blood out of it. The exsanguinated tongue completely loses its function, and in its place the parasite remains seated, held inside by a firm grip. It seems that having taken the place of the tongue, the crayfish consumes the entire prey of the fish, leaving nothing to its host. But this is not the case. The tongue-biting midge feeds on the blood of its host or the mucus that is excreted by the fish. What the fish extracts on its own, the biting midge lets inside its victim. Moreover, scientists suggest that the fish uses the parasite in the same way as a normal tongue and does not even realize it. Female specimens grow up to 3 cm in length. Male specimens are smaller, up to 1.5 cm. Mating of woodlice occurs in the mouth of the host. The eggs are laid in a special pocket on the abdomen of the female, from which the hatched Samothoa exigua sets sail in search of their new home. The crustaceans enter the victim through the gill slits or the mouth opening itself. Having occupied a free place biting midge for the rest of his life, parasitizes on the same fish. Upon reaching maturity, it dies, an atrophied tongue of the victim does not return its performance. For humans, the parasite is not dangerous, but can bite your finger, if you try to pull it out of the mouth of the fish, woodlice remains active until death. Its habitat is the California coast. This crustacean leads its parasitic life exclusively in the mouth of the spotted pink lucian. There it enters through the gills. It is not often possible to catch a fish with such a tongue. But still. So, in 2005, this creature managed to get to the UK. One Londoner got it as a bonus when buying a lucian at the market. After discovering it, they approached a specialist from the Horniman Museum. He was extremely surprised by his find, because never before had this crustacean swam so far from its edges. Most likely, it had arrived with a fish caught off the coast of California, 